hello and welcome back to the channel. This is a bit different for me because I don't usually upload Destiny 2, but the Warmind DLC expansion 2 came out for Destiny 2 today, and I was kind of thinking of just doing my first like half an hour of playing really through it, so kind of give my first impressions because apparently, well, I think it looks really good <laughs> because it's meant to be like different writers writing the story and stuff than Curse of Osiris and the main Destiny 2 story, so there shouldn't be jokes every gold minutes, but. Um, I didn't think like, like Destiny 2's story was that bad, but yeah, no, it, it's definitely not one of their best like, work, but we'll see how it goes, but I have, well, the way this is going to go is that I have about 10 Engram saved up, like 4 exotics, I have 6 legendaries and 1 in my Postmaster as well, which are the legendaries, so I'm pretty sure how those work is that the power level is fixed when you pick them up, but then the contents roll whenever you decrypt them. And I've seen like an actual Destiny dev or whatever um, post that on Reddit, so it should hopefully work like that. But there's just like five exotics at least in terms of weapons which have been added in. So I think the the Soros, I don't even know how I said the Soros regime has been added back from Destiny One, and I think there's a bunch of other ones. But I don't know if they're from Destiny One either. But um, also loads of exotic weapons got changed. That is with the patch not the uh, DLC, so we'll see how those go whenever I'm playing through it, but I'm expecting a good portion of this will be cutscenes, but um, we'll see how that goes. And loading screens, because Destiny 2 takes, an, like, <laughs> takes a very long time to load up, so I maybe shouldn't have started a video now, but um, the music's really good in the background, actually they changed the music to be a lot more dramatic, and I like it a lot. It's a pity the background isn't like darker, because it kind of burn your eyes whenever you're playing in the dark. Okay, we're in. Um, so, notice says, Season 3, Resurgence, start of a new year, on Mars for what an allies return. Few friends emerge. Meanwhile, in the tower, um, a new spirit of courage swells. Prove your mettle by climbing ranks in the Crucible, and Lord Shax will formally recognize your Veiler and your Glue. They've talked about this on the live stream. This is just ranks for Crucible, for Crucible basically. And this is basically the update saying there's multi emotes now, there's improved exotics, power matches, crystal fights, there's new maps in the crystal playlist. I believe everyone gets the crystal maps, regardless if you have the DLC or not, but you can't use them in power matches. I think that was how they did it. But we shall see, prove your worth, yeah. I don't really care much for ranks and crystal, but and Destiny 2 Warmind is not available. Um not really into raids, but quite looking forward to the story. And everything else with it. Escalate or excavation or escalation protocol looks really good. There's Mars. So Titan's been moved on a wee bit. And Mars is right there. And we have our Yeah, so it looks as though my things just got deleted, so that's fun. To be expected though, they did warn people in fairness, so I can understand that like completely. Um I think it was the clan XP one. Yeah. Anyway, that's fine. So we'll get rid of this just because it's Telling me about multi emotes. Configure. Ah, okay. Like, yeah, because these are just like there by default for some reason. So if I like select this, oh. So you just select. That's cool, actually. That's pretty. It's pretty decent, actually. I'll keep this set one because why not? I didn't even realize I had all these. <laughs> I don't have many legendaries because I did not realize Eververse has sold them. Because I didn't go to Eververse really. But yeah, that's pretty that's pretty useful. So um Oh wait, no, I did get my milestone. What? I did get my milestone, because it's given me this, which is new. So yeah, no, it did give me a milestone then. Yeah, well that worked. They said there was a chance that it wouldn't work, so I guess it did work. Yeah, because this is 341. And you have to be level 26 for it, yeah. Yeah, my, 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 my milestone did work. I didn't get any exotic so skill legendaries, but still, that'll help my power level. That's, that's fine, then. I should have kept my other two. But, because I, I got two just in case they did not work. But we shall go straight into Warmind then, I guess. Um... I'm assuming Warmind is just complete mission ice and shadow on Mars. What does it say? <clears throat> Friendly Guardian is requested this isn't on Mars. Help me rescue it. 
Yeah, okay. 310. I'm like 330 nearly. So, may as well. We shall launch into it. And see what it's like. I'm hoping it's good. Life because is a delicate thing to live. Hope, faith, love. In an instant, they're gone. Everything you've sworn to protect is lost. And all you're left with is silence and shadow. And the knowledge that you should have done more. Could we have defeated Gaul if the Traveler hadn't awakened? And what of the next threat? Or the next? What then? The Traveler is awake, and the age of legends is upon us. In the shadow of the light, our universe is a beautiful, terrible place. Where I once saw miracles, now I see monsters. Someone has to. We have to. That's what a guardian does. Well, that cutscene was a thing. I don't really think it conveyed much, apart from the fact that the DLC kind of revolves around the fact that this is happening because it's rather open, but... Let's see. I'm assuming there's more. Yeah. This might just be the intro cutscene that was in to YouTube. Their past. That's the rule. But I'm not good with rules. Not when there's this much at stake. The Clovis Bray tech in that building allowed us to colonize the system during the Golden Age. We, they, sought to create peace for all humanity. Which is ironic, because they also built Rasputin, the single most powerful weapon in the solar system. Either way, it's all been entombed on Mars since the collapse. Along with something far more terrifying. So that's basically just the trailer that they had on YouTube, where there was also during the livestream and everything. So that's Anna Bray, I believe, which I think she's been teased in like Destiny 1 and stuff, there's a lore about her and stuff. Um, there's a thing in the tower where you can, in Destiny 2, where you can like go through vents and stuff and get through a room where there's like stuff about Anna Bray, but I think she's got a connection to Kate or something. But yeah, that might be the cutscenes for now. Might be another one once we actually get to Mars, but we'll see. It's a bit weird the way the main enemies are Hive now on Mars rather than Cabal, but or Cabal or whatever they are, because I think they were, they were the main enemies in D1. Mars, I think it is a different place, place so. humanity encountered the traveler on Mars. Home to the Clovis Bray Research Facility and lost wonders of the Golden Age. The ice caps have kept those wonders hidden for hundreds of years, but the return of the traveler's light has sounded an alarm heard throughout the system and perhaps beyond. Mars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a different place than Mars and we were out in, well, I didn't play much of Destiny 1, in fairness. A different place than we went to Destiny 1, at least. Cutscene. The Red War is over, but Gaul's forces what remains of them have been scavenging during their retreat and now that war sets are falling out of orbit near mars the cabal are headed there too i'll the landing course of course it's cabal but just as i say it's weird that there isn't that's the private vanguard channel Mayday, do you copy vanguard access 
access code 030. Get away from my ghost, you frozen. Guardian requesting backup. I repeat, I need backup down here. This frequency is reserved for official Vanguard business. So look, whoever this is. That's cute. You've got one of the uptight ghosts. Uptight? I'm uploading coordinates to a safe landing zone. Please hurry. All right, but you're going to owe us for this one. I wouldn't have called you down here unless it was absolutely critical. The most dangerous weapon in this system is on this planet, and an entire army of Hive is trying to destroy it. I need your help. Hey, this is gonna go. Um, also, I've got the sun shot on, and I'm really, really looking forward to using it because I don't know what the buff was that they gave it. Because it's like literally the only one which they didn't give away. Although it, it was probably pretty small if they didn't give it away in fairness, but they did confirm. I'm pretty sure that they are buffing it, so. Yep. We touched down Silly on the shots. surface of Mars, Guardian. What's your status? Are you safe? For now. But there's a whole lot of not safe between us and the Clovis Spray facility, which is where we need to be. What's so important there? Warsats, like the Ooh. one that almost hit you on approach, have been dropping out of the sky since I got here. You realize when you're the head of some fruit. Rasputin? The greatest weapon of the Golden Age you were talking about. But that's impossible. Nothing is impossible where Rasputin is concerned. Meet me at the facility. We better be pleased there's sparrows on Mars, because we couldn't on Mercury. That, that hurts. Good to know. Oh, they come out of the ground now. That's good. <laughs> Wait, what? It's doing a thousand damage. I wonder what the term seems to explosions it does. Maybe like the amount of enemies close by them? Or like maybe the amount of enemies that the explosion actually hits. I've never seen hide like this before. As far as I know, they don't exist anywhere but here. But we'll see. I'm pretty sure the only way explosions actually happen before you have a shield. I'm pretty sure the only way explosions happen is by killing an enemy, so I think it's if you deal damage to enemies with it, it does explosions now. Maybe. But I'm not sure. But it does way more damage now, which is good to see. I'll try to use more exotic weapons, but I'm only planning doing this for like half an hour, so this is so much better. The Sunshine was never bad, but like. This is just incredible. Yeah, because they nerfed the amount of damage the explosion did, but buffed the amount of damage that it, like, that they impacted, like, with the GoFast update, so... It's weird the way they've just made it more powerful in general. These guys are difficult though, they would appear. Okay, maybe they're not. I was kind of expecting that their shield would just be... Oh, this shot's so much better. I was kind of expecting the shield to just block all damage, like the Cabal shield guys. Probably not. Like, what a weird symbol beside their, like, bars as well, I'm not sure what that is. Unless it's just in the kitty that they're, like, frozen hive or something. Or mine satellite. That I... Oh, okay, that's why the reticle's coming up. I'm assuming if the scan is, maybe not. There's no reason for this satellite to have fallen from orbit. Something pulled hmm. it down. I think it might be time to call in help from the Vanguard. Not a great idea. Savala won't be happy about us digging around Bray. He wants the past to stay buried. But we need to get in there to find out what's going on with Rasputin. Glacial drift. There's your big thing. I don't know the name of. Not the word. What was that? I'm, I just love how much damage this is doing. I know these are just like small enemies, but it's incredible. Uh, I think it was just exotic weapons they got. I should take a look at what the um, masterwork stuff is. So you can do these now. 
In fact, given a break, I will master with this. Okay. I mean, that rare really helps. So many. Although, well, apparently, there's no match for this on the shot. So. And your Garrett on Lance Mighty has turned into what this launch used to be. We'll see. Uh, yes, so we have a weak break. No, we don't. I mean, I don't really know how they keep making this weapon more power. Is Sniper Hive now? Sniper Cabal or enough? Silence or whatever it is. Okay. That's an over. Luckily. That did 43,000 damage. Like. <laughs> okay. Um, with me? We're clear. Where to next? We found a golden age research facility buried inside a glacier. Where do you think? Meet me at the entrance to Clovis Bray. A lot of exotic masterworks are here. Maybe it's only certain ones, or maybe you have to actually get exotics that have the masterworks on it. Vision swing catalyst found by earning victory in the crystal. Oh wait, you have to have catalysts for them. Maybe there's only certain ones that get it then. Or maybe I have to unequip it and re-equip it. I don't know. Or maybe it's not energy weapons, maybe it has to be like the kinetic weapons. I have no clue. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll, I'll have to look that up because I kind of wanted to like masterwork my stuff. But yeah. Unless we just find out later how to do it, which is probably more likely. You can work this cool. What? On strikes against weak challenging opponents. Okay, we'll have to do strikes on. I don't understand how they can make the work this cool more powerful, but apparently they can. Anyway. Good scene. I think. Yeah. Hey, you made it. Actually, yes. We did. Well, there were a lot of them. But I'm also assuming my guardian isn't gonna talk. Come on. Let's see what's hiding in here. Besides hordes and hordes of frozen hive, I mean. <laughs> Just the head nod, like. I mean, I wonder when the guardians are actually gonna talk. I'm assuming they will at some stage due to the fact that everyone's been asking for it. So I would like to think maybe the next DLC they will, unless just suddenly out of the blue in this DLC we talk. About. Was trying to we'll talk see. To him in the they were engaged oh. with fragments of Rasputin left behind after the collapse, but his core mind was always here. Interesting. Yeah, so I think the sweet business should go loot more ammo. We grabbed on lance, basically became the sunshot. The sunshot basically became a better sunshot. Other stuff. A cabal, cabal, space rhinos. Of course it is. Of course you would die from that. You have to keep in mind that my son's photo is like 319. The enemy's probably 340. If I'm understanding skilling right. It's like just like shit the enemies behind them, do damage. I appreciate it if you didn't do that to me. Actually, hit that, that was incredible. Yeah, it's doing a thousand damage. Like. Go 
back. She probably ducked or something. It's just scary. Definitely. Hey, dogs, he's on stop. Alright. Um. I'm not entirely sure. I think we're just clearing the path, like your person said. That it's, uh, why didn't she just help? Is that a gold bar I saw? Yeah, it is gold bar I saw. Luckily, this isn't another respawn. Dude. And you're dead. Could you not? Right, okay, sorry, it's sniper person's. More than one. Um. Exclusions. Right. Oh, I was confused there. <laughs> Didn't know what was happening right computer. Oh, hello. Well, how can you just appear out of nowhere? I'm here. I'm really here. I can't believe it. Clovis Bray. I'm home. Oh, he... Wait, what? The main access is encrypted. Good thing I know a few tricks. At least that seems to run in the family. Personnel identified Dr. Anastasia Bray. Welcome to the Clovis Bray Research Facility, the fabled cradle of invention on Mars. You are part of an important moment in history. Together, we will strive to reach beyond the stars. Remember, you are Clovis Bray. And we're in business. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's something along the lines of Guardian's minds. They don't remember who they were before they became a Guardian. And she was like a doctor or scientist some at this facility and that she's like researching her past or whatever. Looks like Rasputin's core is housed in a separate structure. Hope you're up for a little exploring. I guess. <laughs> you're running around, there's still a problem with the sunshot. But... We can look past it, considering the fact that it does like a thousand damage per shot now, so... You know. In fact, we will switch to the Graviton Lance. I hear stuff. This facility is massive. Oh, whoa, that is massive. Bray's dream big. I don't know much about my family, but I know that. At the bottom. <laughs> it's pretty big. What is that? No. Yeah. It is. Try not to let this run on too much longer, but. So far, I mean, I haven't seen much of it, but it seems okay. It seems better than Curse of Cyrus already, to be honest. I'm what is this? A lot of hive activity. They're swarming the core. On it. Let me try to access the swarming the core. I, I couldn't in, like re or investigate that or whatever it is. Uh, I tried at least. Don't, don't drop that. Does this sound different? This seems to shoot it a lot quicker than it used to. Let's do more damage when you're ADS than you might do. It's probably. You just got obliterated. It's probably better doing it in groups in fairness. Precision shots can be the way to go for it too. Because hitting in the body does like 400, hitting him in the head does a thousand. So. Well, that's kind of difficult to do when they're flying. Okay, this might be a place to show this up. Ooh. Okay, basically, is this on the shop then? 
but still a better version of the sun shot. I like this. They seem, to do, they seem to do done a good job on these exotics so far. Out of the two that I've used. I really like the sun shot though. They didn't really need a buff, I'm glad they did buff it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch to like this though. To get some energy ammo. And we have energy ammo. I really like this gun though, because the Graviton Lance was a bit underwhelming initially, so I'm very happy that it's actually pretty useful now. Come on, Keep Marcy. going up. Give me something here. It is the big boy. Oh, Booker. Okay. Oh. okay then. Who is that the staff? Execute separate team the rock. Okay, well I will record first. Ooh. But this is like limited time. Okay. Moving this can't damage us. Press and hold the charge to Valkyrie. Ooh. I think I missed. <clears throat> this is actually really cool. I didn't get a lot. This is really powerful. And there's another one. <clears throat> this is Oxy. <laughs> like, this is really cool. I'm wandering just in the middle of this. Don't, don't kill me. I'm wandering kind of in the middle of this. Um, if the entire story is going to take place on Mars or if it's going to go back to Earth and stuff like they did Curse of Cyrus. I'm kind of hoping they don't. Because that kind of takes kind of defeats the point in having like a full new place so you can just refill. Kind of defeats the purpose of having it timed, but <laughs> and that This is really like I don't want to keep saying this is really fun but it is. I mean, I feel like Slash and Lighthawk would still one shot use, but hey. Eh. The door's unlocked. Uh, okay, that's gone now. It wasn't me. Maybe he's inviting us inside. Ooh. Maybe this is where questions finally turn into answers. Ooh. What answers do you want to? Well, I guess I answer my own question if she was first to guard him against, but or something, or why the ice cap's melting, or something, I don't know. Cutscene. I don't want to really talk to you in the cutscenes, but... Yeah. Zavala? Hello, Guardian. Oh, shanks. What do you think you're doing? Why? Do you have any idea how dangerous this thing is? What were you trying to do to Rasputin? Rasputin is Vanguard business, Anastasia, not yours. You do not belong here. I beg your pardon? You belong to the city. But instead of standing by your brothers and sisters when Gaul came for us, you were here, doing what you always do. What you were never supposed to do. I did what I believed to be right. I came here to protect humanity. Isn't that what Guardians are supposed to do? This is a war of many fronts. And there's more than one way to fight it, Zavala. Look, you tried to shield the entire world, but you can't. There's got to be a better way. And do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's gone silent. It's a broken weapon. Too dangerous to be let alone and too unpredictable to wield. That might be true. Or maybe he has nothing to say. Maybe, just maybe. We never bothered to ask him what he wanted. I don't have time to go through this with you again, but no right. I have every right. You don't understand the connection I share with Rasputin. Here, let me show you.
Okay. I. We should really figure out exactly the word. what's doing then. that. I can tell you. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. Why was Savali there in the first place? That's what I want to know. Mars is unlocked. I think that's the first mission. The region is now overrun with frozen hive and remnants of the Red Legion. Of course, the Red Legion is just going to be everywhere, isn't it? Yes, sir. Anyway, I would say that's a good place to, to leave it. Um, I doubt there's anything after this loading screen, apart from maybe a return to orbit or something. So, um, that's the first half an hour of Warmind, basically. I didn't open the engrams, so I'm going to go open the engrams. <laughs> that's the whole reason I saved them up for the video so I will be back in a minute in a couple seconds your time probably with me being in the tower opening like four exotics and like seven legendary engrams to see what I get it isn't going to really help my power level but it might give me some new exotics so we'll see but I shall see you in a couple minutes okay we are in the tower, so I shall open some engrams, and I'll go to Eververse, and maybe Shocks, I don't know. I'm assuming he's just going to give us, like, tokens. We shall see. Right. What is that? Is that just, like, an empty slot, or... Like... Oh, it's illuminating. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. So... We'll start off with the legendaries, I guess. So why not? If anything, it's just gonna give us legendary shards, so, you know. Don't know if there's any new items there. We'll go ahead and delete some of them. But, uh, I don't, I don't think there was any new items there, in fairness. I don't know if there's any new legendaries added with the update, um, in fairness, with the DLC. So, yeah. That requires level 26. Even though it's 332. I guess because they cap out at 330, don't they? So that would be why. I mean, I guess I'll keep it. But. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'll, I'll just keep it for the R level, I guess. So. Exotic King Ground. I already have that. I don't think I actually have that. Of course. <laughs> We're face rigs. And the J drop it. I don't think I got anything new there. Um, like from this DLC, I mean. Um, I don't think this is new. Quick successive attacks of the Arc Staff increase its damage output and duration. Sadly, the Red Legion's defeat. I have a feeling that isn't new, but I guess she never knew. Might be though. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem amazing though. I guess it could be cool. Uh, food tracer. I already have. Yeah. Let's get rid of it. Anyway, so that was fun. Um, <laughs> didn't really get anything from that. I shall go over to Eververse. In fact, I've got another legendary. Come to think of it, in here. So, might as well take that. We'll talk to Tess before I leave. Uh, give him Tess. Prototype in. Oh, so are these the new engrams then? I don't know if it's just. Yeah, it's just season 2 stuff. Season 3. And oh yeah, they increase this stuff, and you also have the Prismatic Matrix, which allows you to get a certain item from a token that I think you get from milestones. So if there's an item you really want, you can get it. Yeah, the Huckleberry is a new one. I know that's just an ornament, but the Huckleberry is a new actual thing. Thank you for shopping. I never. don't really see the point of going to Sharks at the moment. So. Open up the legendary. As we're opening this up, I just want to say thank you for watching. 
this is probably going to be just over half an hour, so thank you for sitting through it if you have. Um, I think Warmind's going to be pretty good. Just from that first half hour or so of it, I think it looks pretty pretty good. A good bit better than Christmas hours at least, so um, at least those over streaks are better, I guess. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, leaving subscribing, and let me know if you'll hoard Destiny too, because I usually upload COD. So yeah, anyway. I uh, shall see you in the next one.